Hi, my name is David, and I'm here to show you Belgium compliance in Descara Books. First, we're going to click on Set Up Your Own Organization. After that, we're going to select Belgium as the tax registry. I can change the reporting currency if I want to. We can also choose the financial year start date and the book beginning date. So, for example, if I want to change this to March, I can change this to March, and I can create. Congratulations, your Belgium organization has been successfully set up. So let's explore the app first. Let's go to settings and let's click on organization profile. Next, we're going to click on the pencil icon. Inside here, I can see the name of the company, the tax registry, and the date format. And I can change the date format over here as well. Next, let's go to finance. Inside here, I can see the financial start date, the book beginning date, the reporting currency. I can select the number of decimal places and the number format. I can also enable multi-currency. For example, let's select the United States dollar and Canada dollar and save. Next, let's go to compliance and I can put in the enterprise number and the VAT identification number. Next, let's go to address. So let's input the address. And you can see it'll pop up here. I just click on it, and you can see the address has populated. I can click Update. Then if I scroll down, I can see the compliance settings here and the address here. Next, let's click on Settings, and let's go to Tax. Inside here, I can see the different tax types, like EU Purchase 6%, EU Purchase 12%, Non-Deductible Purchase of Service. And I can see the name, the description, the percentage, tax code, account name, type, and visibility. So if I want to hide a tax type that I don't use, I just click the eye icon. And if later I need to see it again, I just click the eye icon again. I can also go to add tax, and I can add tax group. Inside here, I can input the name, for example, tax group. Any description, I can put in the tax code. The type, is it sales or purchase? Any default memo, if the tax code is used. And then I can select here the tax components. So for example, EU Goods Sales 21, click here again, and I can select a different one, so maybe, for example, exempt sales. And I can determine, is it pre-tax amount or after-tax amount? And I can save it. You can now see the tax group has been added. Now let's click on Settings, and let's click on Currency. Inside here, you can see your currency, your currency code, symbol, exchange rate, exchange rate date, visibility, and any action. I can also click on this eye icon in order to activate it. And if I want to deactivate, I also can click on this eye icon. If I want to activate multiple ones, I just click on them, and I click activate. If I want to deactivate them again, I just click on them, and I click deactivate. I can go, so go to change rate, and I can go here and change the rate, for example, 673, and I save it. And now you can see the rate has been updated. I can also view rates of other currencies as well that are not visible. Next we're going to click on contacts. Inside here you can add a contact and import a contact. So let's add a contact. Inside here, I can input the name, any email address, select the currency, put in the enterprise number, the VAT identification number, select the default sales tax rate, select the default purchase rate, and next I can click on accounting. I can select my payment terms, my accounts payable and my accounts receivable, and I can enter an address, and I can click Save. And that was a quick look at Belgium statutory compliance in Descara books.